Before we get into the video that you actually came here to watch, I just wanted to introduce you lot to my brand new online store that I've created recently. Um, it's a bit bare bones at the moment. I'm only selling t-shirts for now, but once it starts picking up, I will start introducing new clothes. And if you are interested, it is linked in my description. So be sure to check that out. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. All right, what's going on guys? Back with another tier list. In this video, I'm gonna be going over streetwear brands. So yeah, let's get into this. So yeah, these are all of the brands, obviously, and um, yeah, let's see what they're saying. Obviously, Antisocial Social Club, trash. Like you, like if you watch my videos, you you know what I think about Antisocial Club. Just dead brand. I hate that brand with a passion. Basic and yeah, not a fan. Um, v Loan. Oh, I really don't know if this was like 2018, it'd probably be A tier, but it's sort of fallen off now, and um, yeah, I don't really hear too much about it. So it's going to go B tier. It is going to go B tier. Obey. Um, if this was like 2006, maybe this would be goaded. But um, the only really thing I can remember off of Obey are the hats. Um, nothing else really. Oh, I don't want to put it next to Antisocial Social Club because it did have a big like rise and it was popular for a brief minute. C tier. C tier. Definitely. Definitely. Um, Stussy. I have done a lot of research on Stussy. Obviously, I made the history of Stussy logo, and I am going to put it A tier just for the simple fact it's been around for I think four decades. Um, the owner of Supreme was actually in with in with Stussy, and the owner of Fear of God was actually like working for Stussy as well. So Stussy is goaded. It's sort of making a comeback now, and yeah, a very heavy brand. Uh, champion, oh, oh, champion. Um, <sighs> I'm going to go B tier, just for the simple fact that it's an American brand, it's been around for a long time as well, and they have sort of had a lot a lot of ups and downs, and they've sort of like stayed afloat for that period of time, so yeah, B, B tier. Uh, Bape, <sighs> Bape, 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 it's either goated or A tier, obviously there was a brief moment, well not a brief moment, a long time where it was goated, um, it sort of drifted down to A tier now, but as its whole history... I'm going to say goated. I am actually going to say goated. In the whole streetwear like scene, yeah, yeah, def definitely goated. Um, Adidas, goated, 100% goated. I believe Adidas was the first brand to do a collaboration with like anyone. Um, it was a run DMC collaboration. And yeah, like Adidas has been around for like so long. And yeah, they're, they're, they're actually a certain brand. Um, Stone Island, uh, I've got a real, I've got a real... Um, love for Stone Island obviously you know um it is a certain brand and that they, they, yeah they're just very unique and different I, I can't put it goated so I am going to put it A tier FDP very very cool brand as well if you don't know what FDP stands for um it's sort of like a low-key brand as well but it stands for fuck the population or fuck the popular um and yeah um, I do rate a lot of their pieces I do like the all over print that they do uh that that looks sick um, I can't put it here. I am. I am gonna put it A tier. It, like it can't go goated because it's not that popular. If that makes sense. But yeah. Um, Vans. Okay, Vans. Oh, I do want to put it goated, but I don't really have that much love for Vans. Like apart from their shoes, what do they really do? Like their their clothing don't really pop like that. So yeah, A tier. A tier. Fila. Fila. Okay. Fila back in the day was a certain brand again. Um, you know, it ain't really been popping like that, but it can't go next to Obey, I'm sorry, so it's gonna go B tier, you know, still still respectable. Okay, cool, Trapstar. If if you are from the UK, Trapstar is goated, but anywhere else from the UK, I'm not too too sure. Um it's definitely A tier, like all round, but I'm not sure what um other countries has their view on Trapstar, but obviously I'm from the UK, so it is gonna go goated. Because, yeah, Trap Start is popping at the moment. I'd probably say, like, in terms of um, both streetwear brands from the UK, Trap Start is doing more bits than Palace. Like, that, that is just facts. Hood Rich, another UK streetwear brand. It's not as big as Trap Star. I wouldn't even pull it on A tier as well. It is going to go B tier. You know, but, but Hood Rich is still, like, it's still a certain brand. Off-White, um, yeah, crazy. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely uh, uh, goaded. Um, billionaire Boys Club. So if you don't know, uh, the owners of Billionaires Boys Club is Pharrell, which owns Bape. No, no, sorry. Um, is Nigo that owns Bape, and also Pharrell the singer. Um, 
they are a bit low key, but they are still a certain brand. I can't lie, and and they're sort of like high end fashion. It is gonna go A tier, boys. It is gonna go A tier. Obviously, you know, fight me in the comment section. But billionaires boys clubs are, is a certain brand. Um, Nike. I do not have to really say anything about Nike. Nike is just certain all round. The clothing is 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 heavy. Their shoe game is heavy. Obviously, they own Jordans, which you know, Jordan brand in and of itself is a heavy brand. But obviously, Nike owns it, so that's the reason why I didn't put Jordan on this list. But yeah, Nike all round banger of a fucking um streetwear brand. And they also do sports and stuff, so, you know, you know, crazy. Um, Palace. Palace is goaded. I'm sorry, but if you think about streetwear, you think about Supreme, Palace, and Off-White. Those, and also Bape. Those, those three brands are just, you know, just infamous when it comes to streetwear. Puma. Ah, oh, Puma, Puma, Puma. Ah, oh, mate. I really don't like this brand either. It's just just very tacky. Fun fact, though, the owner of Adidas is, uh, is brothers with the owner of Puma. Um, it can't go next to Anti-Social Social Club. I don't think I'm going to put any brand ne next to this disgusting brand. So, it is going to go C tier list. Um, okay, Frasher. Frasher back in the day again was a certain brand. It's sort of fallen off now. It sort of it sort of reminds me of Obey. But um, I would say this is a step up from Obey. Um, yeah, B tier, B tier. Um, a lot of people are going to be hating in the comments. I can just feel it now. Um, obviously, Supreme is, you know, whenever you think of streetwear, you do think of, you know, S Supreme. And also, like, Supreme is the sort of brand that created the hype beast culture. So, another subculture underneath streetwear. And for a brand to do that, you know, you can't really, really argue with that. Um, North Face. North Face is also another certy brand. But I will say this. If North Face didn't make coats or jackets or any like outer layer, you know, um, I don't think they would be popping as much. So for that reason, it is going to go B tier. It can't go A tier because they don't really do. Um, I mean, they probably do track suits and all of that stuff, but it don't really bang like that. It's only really the coats and jackets. So, you know, North Face. But still, I do rate I do rate North Face highly. If you haven't seen my top five North Face collaboration video, I would highly recommend watch that video. That is probably one of my favorite videos. Um... And now we've got Tommy Hilfiger. Okay, Tommy Hilfiger. It's not trash. It's not C. It's either B or A. Um, it's sort of along the lines of Feeler as well. Maybe a bit of Champion. But out, out of these two brands, I do feel like Tommy Hilfiger is superior. Um, just for like the vintage look. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit more timeless. Ugh, do I do it? Fuck it, I'm going to do it. A. A tier list but um yeah that is going to be the tier list for today i hope you did enjoy if you did enjoy please leave a like a comment and also subscribe and until next time i'm out